Okay, uh, so geometry, let's see uh, how to do this problem here. So it says point Q is on line segment PR. Given QR is 2x plus 4, PQ is x, and PR is 4x minus 10, determine the numerical length of segment PR. So for the visual learners in us, and again, if you are, that's great for geometry, you might want to draw a picture, right? Now, it doesn't have to be accurate, but it says point Q is on line segment PR. So here's P. Here's R. And I'll put point Q somewhere on there. So by the segment addition postulate, I can write an equation. PQ plus QR equals PR. PQ plus QR equals PR. And now, uh-oh, algebra. Hopefully we do okay. Now I can do some substitutions, right? QR, 2X plus 4, PQX. PR 4x minus 10. Just replace them. So what is PQ? PQ is x plus. What is QR? 2x plus 4. Now, if this were a minus sign, uh, well, here, what I'll do is, is I will put that in parentheses, 2x plus 4. But then we'll talk about that in a second. That equals, and then on the right side, because PR is all by itself, 4x minus 10. Now, because there is a plus sign here, those parentheses don't really matter. So I'm going to scribble out the parentheses. You don't need them. Okay, so what I would do first here is I would combine like terms on each side. So this is the equal sign. And again, if you need to, right, you could separate. That's the equal sign. So first, start on the left side. Let's combine the x and the positive x. There is a 1 in front of that x. So 1x plus 2x is 3x's. We'll bring down this plus 4. On the right-hand side of the equal sign, it's a 4x minus 10. And now I'm a big fan of combining the x's first. I don't like to see multiple variables. So uh, I see a 3x here and a 4x here. I'm going to subtract the 3x here. Because the 4x is on the other side of the equal sign, I have to also subtract on that side. So notice I'm not combining like terms like I did in this step. I have to actually move the 3x over there. So the 3x is here canceled. This positive 4 drops down. You don't need the positive sign. The equal sign comes down. 4x minus 3x is 1x or just x. You don't need the 1. If you're comfortable with the 1, that's fine. And then put a minus 10 right there. Then I'm going to add 10 to both sides to combine the numbers. 4 plus 10 is 14. That equals the x comes down, and those 10s disappear, and hey, there's my value of x. Sometimes there would be a number in front of the x. 1 doesn't really matter because dividing by 1 keeps the number the same. But if this were a number in front of the x, you'd have to then divide by it to get x all by itself. But this, uh, I'm done. So now they want the numerical length of pr. So what was pr? pr was 4x minus 10. So over here, I'll just do 4 times 14 minus 10. And for this, I, I need a calculator. So uh, I have to make this stuff go away. But it's 4 times 14 minus 10. So I will go to my graphing calculator. And I will type in 4 times 14 minus 10. If you have a handout calculator, that's fine. That's great. And I got 46. So back to my delta math. This answer should be 46. I'll take my cursor. 46, I will submit that answer, and I got the green check mark. There we go. Cool. Okay, here's a second problem I want to look at with you guys. So it says the point, it's the points L, M, N, and O all line in the same, all lie in the same line segment. Could have said collinear, right? But in that order, such that the ratio of LM to MN to NO is 3 to 4 to 4. If LO is 33, find MN. So again, you might want to start with a drawing. So it says that L, M, N, and O are on the same segment in that order. So again, this is L all the way to O. And then again, I'll just put M somewhere and I'll put N somewhere. Now, it gives us this ratio breakdown, LM to MN to NO. So again, between, I'll make these dots a little bit bigger, these points a little bit bigger. So the ratio is 3 to 4 to 4, based off of this ratio right here. Again, if you're not familiar with ratios, you know, um, colons can be used to separate numbers in a ratio. 
Now, if we add those numbers up, I can do that in my head. 3 plus 4 is 7, plus 4 is 11. That's not going to work. So what I'm going to do is I can keep this ratio the same by multiplying each number by the same number. So I can multiply by 2, I can multiply by 3, or if I don't know the number, I can multiply by x. 3x to 4x to 4x. And if I add x's, now I can create an algebraic problem because these three smaller segments, if I use an extended idea of the segment addition postulate, if I add those three segments together, I should get the big segment LO. And it tells you that LO is 33. Combine your like terms on the left side. This is 11 x's. And now I'll divide by 11. And x is 3. I'm looking for the length of mn. mn was the middle segment. It was with a 4. So mn is 4x. mn is 4 times 3. And 4 times 3 is, sorry, 12. So I come in there, get the arrow tool, click on 12, submit, bingo. All right, good. So um, these are part of your uh, homework assignment. Um, so best of luck.